What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RoyLife.com. It's been a while since we've done a video and uh, what a great way to bring it back then with a uh, 2.2, first Froyo, 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 whatever we're calling it these days, first 2.2 uh, ROM or release basically for the Motorola Droid. Um, as you can see, still the exact same lock screen, no real changes going on there. You know, you can mute it. Actually, that little icon does change, but uh, that was different. But anyway, let's go right into it. And uh, first thing you'll notice is the new launcher. This is the new Froyo launcher with the, uh, you know, dedicated uh, browser and phone button. And then also we've got a full five screens on here. Okay. And just like we've seen before, you can long press, I believe, and get the mini cards. Sure enough, you can. Um, so let's see to start off. I'll just say that uh, This thing definitely seems um, really fast um, since this is a ROM. I do have mine overclocked slightly to um, Looks like 900 megahertz, so um, you know that helps out for the speed But before I did that initially when it was just running at 600 it was plenty fast um, when everybody first loaded this thing up It was kind of slow and no one was really impressed and then it so you know slowly just got faster and faster and faster. So uh, it's definitely worth um, your time if you are, are into rooting and custom ROMs and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, let's just kind of do a walkthrough and show you guys some of the goodies we've got included in here. Um, if we go and just check out, uh, actually let's just look at widgets at first. Um, you can see the Google search bar has now changed. If you go and tap on the Google logo over there takes you into your search page and gives you options now you can search everything or just the web or just apps or just contacts so you know kind of separates everything out for you you can just kind of toggle that on and off which is kind of a nice little added feature um, still got speech to text which is supposed to be better with Froyo um, haven't had a chance to really play with that yet but it's supposed to be faster um, you can see the, the uh, analog clock has changed um, I believe there's also See, I've got beautiful widgets on there, obviously. Um, you've probably seen this home screen tip thing, which is a little Android guy that'll walk you through, um, you know, stuff that you may not be familiar with in Android. So that's kind of cool that they've done that for beginners or new users. Um, that's basically your home screens. Not a lot of changes there. Still has live wallpapers and all that, just not using them right now. Um, let's go ahead and go into settings. Go into settings. And first things first, I guess I probably should have done this right away. Let's go into the about screen. And you'll see right here, we are Droid 2.2. Um, baseband's the same, although there has been an update released for that. We just haven't done it yet. Um, you'll see the kernel is that custom kernel we're using, which we've talked about on the site, which actually fixes the Wi-Fi. Um, and the build down here, they've blocked it out because they're afraid they're going to get in trouble. So anyway, but we are on 2.2. And this is about as close as you're probably going to get right now until source code's released and you know, or it becomes official. So uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out. So. Um, some other things we got wireless and networks see down here this is the big one everyone cares about it's tethering no Wi-Fi tethering with this build um, just USB tethering so haven't tried it yet but supposed to work just fine we're afraid that um, Verizon actually took the Wi-Fi tethering out of it probably won't get it even with the official build which is too bad um, let's see, call settings. I don't believe there's a whole ton of stuff, and I use Google Voice anyway. Um, you can see they switched out sound and display into two separate categories now, which is kind of nice. Um, vibrate gives you more options. You can tell it never, always, and yeah, it just seems to um, have some better options for as far as customizing the way you want your phone to sound um, and it's in volume you can see you've got all three of these in here it used to be just ringtone and uh, notification so you know those are all different um, and you can see phone ringtone notification ringtone all that stuff's kind of been separated out a little differently now and then display we've actually got some new stuff um, which is the auto rotate screen which means that when you turn your device it auto rotates um, you can uncheck that box if you want and make it so that it only happens when you slide the keyboard open also I believe you can go all the way upside down uh, maybe just in certain apps you can but uh, yeah you're supposed to be able to flip it all the way upside down so um, yeah pretty cool stuff there let's go back here um, Location and security. I do believe there's some new unlock stuff you can do. Not really a big fan of that. Um, applications. This is a big one for many of you. Uh, if we go into manage applications, you can see the whole menu has changed. It's not just a list of apps anymore. You've got your downloaded tab, your running, your all, and your on SD card, which is everyone's favorite. Um, so 
which is the one everyone's kind of been waiting for. So if we go to the SD card, you can see I've got a few apps on there. Um, if we tap on an app, you'll see we got a couple different options now, mainly this one right here, which is move to phone, or if you are actually in what app that's not on your SD card, like beautiful widgets, you'll see it says move to SD card and it's blocked out. Um, it's up to developers to add that option or not, or if you're using titanium backup, which is this app right here, you can sort of force move those over to your SD card, which is why I have some of these on there. So anyway, um, I do like it that they have this tabbed version up here instead of using to have use instead of when you used to have to go to menu filter all and all that stuff. So anyway, a nice new feature there. Uh, let's see accounts and sync hasn't really changed anything in there. SD card and storage. You'll see nothing's changed in there like I just showed you when you want to move apps around you do an applications not in your SD card settings. I skipped privacy nothing going on in there. Um, search I don't believe anything's changed in there. Uh, language keyboard not sure that anything's actually changed in there. It does look a little different it looks like they took some stuff out but not totally sure on that one. Accessibility this option is pretty cool power button ends your call so if you're on a phone call and you know your screen gets locked or doesn't come back to life you can just hit the power button it'll actually end it so that's kind of a nice little feature they've added now and date and time I do not believe it's changed at all and then I already showed you the about phone so that's kind of all the system stuff that's going on with this new uh, Froyo build that we have out there let's go ahead and show you some applications that may have changed uh, if we go into the browser I do believe that they've changed just the way this menu looks down here. You got new window bookmarks and windows. I just believe they've, you know, moved those around a little bit. So uh, anyway, that's really the only change as far as I know in the browser. Uh, let's see if we pull this up. You do have the uh, new, well, it used to be the 2.1 Nexus clock. That actually came standard with this ROM. So I don't know if they added that in or if it's actually going to come with Froyo. Um, the car home has completely changed. You can see there you got all these dedicated buttons. It actually kind of looks like a navigation would look. Um, and you can't actually you can't actually hit home to get out of it either. You actually have to exit and it gives you all kinds of options. But you know they've done a nice job of really polishing it up and making it look like a navigation. And so we exit out of there. Let's see what we got next. Um, Gmail is pretty cool actually. They made some pretty significant changes that um, we all really have been looking forward to. So let's say we got multiple accounts on here okay so I got two accounts on there so if I'm in sorry about that if I'm in an account and I'm creating an email you can see now we have a pull down menu up top and you can choose which email account you want to use okay so I have like three or four email accounts sometimes on my Gmail or in my Gmail app and it's much easier now to do that than have to go back out and select a different account or go into one and then compose you know what you guys know what I mean so now definitely the option to choose which account you want it's about time they decided to do that um, also when you are in an email we now have dedicated buttons down here to get you to your next email which is pretty cool also shows you if they're one of your contacts it'll show up there which is kinda cool so they've added that so the Gmail app has changed a little bit and let's see what else we got.